Thank you for inviting me. I am Michelle Salteris. I'm a first generation Greek American slam poet from Chicago, Illinois, but right now I am in Aurora, Colorado. Um, the anti-fascist poem that I've chosen to share today because we all have more than one, right? <laughs> um, is personal, I guess. It's personal in my family and personal in my people. So a little background on uh, the story, I guess, is on October 28th, 1940, the Italian dictator Mussolini gave Greece an ultimatum that we could give up our harbors and let them occupy Greece, or we could go to war. And our prime minister, Ionis Metaxas, replied with, then it is war. And the message spread all through Greece, ohi, which means no. And everyone kind of expected Greece to lose they actually beat the Italians so bad that they needed to call the Nazis for backup, which threw off their plans and kind of gave the allies hope again. So I wrote this poem five days before Trump was elected when he quoted Mussolini and said that it didn't matter who said it because it was a good quote. October 28th, 1940, Greece says, oh, he, no. To the Italian dictator stationing soldiers on their land, knowing they probably can't fight off the consequences of their choice. 1940, my grandmother is five. She is walking to school with people hanging from the trees. 1940, there are people in line for a loaf of bread they know will not feed their family for the week. 1940, Greek soldiers line up to fight a war they know they are not big enough to win. 1940, Churchill says Greeks do not fight like heroes. Heroes fight like Greeks. 1941, America joins war for financial gain. 1941, America fights in a war they will never actually see. 1941, American president, American people halfway across the world from it says yes and never cares what it looks like. 1941, America says yes. Yes, atom bomb. Yes, fighter jets. Yes, big market for big gain. 1941 America will never see 1941 Greece. 2016 America will never Google search 1941 Greece. Still don't see the wars they fight. Still can't find the right reasons. 2016 America, I am listening to him speak. And sometimes he almost quotes him. Sometimes he looks like him. They call him Donald and I call him 1930 Mussolini gaining friends and I watch America say yes again. 1940s, the Archbishop of Greece says we must stand with our Jewish brothers. 2016, and I'll be damned if I do not stand with my Muslim ones. This is for an America that puts a man like this on a pedestal. This is for an America that sees no problem in a man who wants to hand out nuclear weapons like candy on Halloween and a man who hates based on religion, based on sexuality, gender, race. This is for an America that doesn't know how to fight like heroes, let alone Greeks. This is for the Americans who fight like Trumans or Jacksons or Davises. This is for the Americans who flaunt the Confederate flag, who wanna make America great again, like there's a time they could go back to. This is for America like a wake up call, like the second alarm you set just in case you slept through the first one. This is before you have religion ID cards. This is before people are hanging in your, your trees. This is before you forget to say no, to say no, say no. Thank you.